Don't miss any content. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Selassie Fiawe. Today, we're going to talk about something quite interesting. There's been a lot of talk in the media about bringing back Ghanaian player Tariq Lamte to play for the Ghana Black Stars following his amazing performances in uh, the game against Chelsea, Brighton and Ola Albion's opener against Chelsea in uh, the Premier League uh, on Monday night. He was quite impressive. Now Ibrahim Tanko has brought about something that he sees as a solution and uh, to help Black Stars, the Ghana Football Association also, uh, to pull these players into uh, their nations of birth and that's the birth countries of their parents uh, now we all know Tariq Lamte has been called up to the England under 21s for the first time and after he went viral on Monday after following his performances against uh, Chelsea uh, many Ghanaians were calling for him to be called up to the Black Stars meanwhile uh, there were English fans as well who were talking and raving about the plethora of talent they now have after that amazing performance by the youngster Ibrahim Tanko has sought to help the GFA he feels this will be the best measures that should be taken and in order to help these players play for Ghana and it's quite interesting what he has to say Abubakar Damba also a former goalkeeper has shared his thoughts on the matter we'll talk about this extensively along with some other issues as usual subscribe if you haven't click on the notification bell to get more updates so i'll just jump right into it and i'll start off from the time the camp of ibrahim tanko um the players of late there have been talks uh, and ibrahim tanko has sought to bring a solution to it on how to attract foreign players uh, to play or convince them to play uh, for the Ghana uh, Black Stars. Now Ibrahim Tanko is a Black Stars B coach and he has suggested how Ghana Football Association can attract foreign based players to switch nationality for the national team. Now in recent times uh, Ghana has a lot of talents across European countries, some in Belgium, um, uh, uh, Jeremy Doku, Belgium, national team he has been called up he played in the latest friendly there have been some also in the netherlands uh, but uh, tango says there are a lot of Ghanaian talents abroad especially in england germany and holland uh, but we always wait for them to play first team football before we they get our attention if we want to integrate them into our national team we need to start early a player like Tariq has the potential of playing for the England national team because he plays in England, he told Wontimi Sport. He suggested that the GFA set up a scouting network by using some former Ghanaian based players abroad who can monitor and approach these players and convince them to play for the national team. Now he said in Germany we have Otto Addo, Eric Addo in Holland. Adu tutu, Edu Tutu is also in Austria and Razak in Denmark. If we ask these former players to speak to the youngsters, they can convince them because they have experience in dealing with players. I know Turkish FA have an office in Germany because they know they, they are Turkish players who are based in Germany. So if we do the same, we will get these players. Ghana over the year has lost some good talents. Uh, Callum Hassan Odoi now plays for England. Uh, Jeremy Doku, Van der Lecht, plays for the Belgium national team and others. I think uh, this is amazing sound advice uh, coming from the camp of uh, the Ghanaian Ghana Black Stars B coach Ibrahim Tanku as succinct as ever, as elaborate as ever, as smart and sound as ever i have to say this is really a smart move and if the fa are serious about bringing players back into the country to play for the ghana black stars they will follow these guidelines don't wait for them to blow up before you join the parade and try to convince them that would make you a fair weather friend of sorts because uh, what about the others that never reach their full potential imagine if alfonso davis in his primitive years or someone like tari Lamte when he started playing professionally or in the courts in England or in Canada someone was monitoring them and there were scouts on the ground that were monitoring them and reporting on them back to the FA 
and having talks with them to play for Ghana since they have found out their Afghanian nationality, their appearance at least. I think uh, we wouldn't have the situation where uh, the players are in a limbo uh, because they have spent so much time uh, with the first team of their national teams and will now be pondering over whether to choose Ghana over that country or not. I think at those early stages, as they say, catch them young and uh, you will have a lot of less things to worry about in convincing them. Uh, these former players, as he has stated, can do the job for us. Uh, the FA, the onus is now on them. Ibrahim Tanko has laid out a perfect, perfect plan in my opinion. I agree. 100% with this uh, on how to quote unquote catch them young and bring them into the national team free. Let me know what you think about this suggestion here by Ibrahim Tanko. I think it's quite sound and I think if the FA are serious about bringing players, uh, ex-players, uh, those who are playing abroad back into the country this is the perfect route and they have to take don't wait for them uh, to blow up uh, before you start chasing them like uh, you, were, you, you were waiting like a, a lady who left a guy because he was broke and now she's back in for him because he now has money and no guy would take such a lady seriously <laughs> and no player uh, will take such a country that does that this seriously so let me know what you think about this in the comments box i move on to my next story it has to do with ex Ghana black star short stopper he has added his voice to this talk about bringing in players who are based outside into the national uh, team he has added his voice to that he says ck will want to bring all the best players so as to get results to leave a legacy but we must remember that we are dealing with specific players whose lives and individual interests also matter if we can address our issue and address theirs as well uh, the players will feel comfortable playing for ghana uh, but let's be realistic between ghana and england where are players uh, taking care of better in terms of structure honestly speaking it's england uh, the player will look at all these dynamics i'm ghanaian and will want to the best players for Ghana but we also have to be truthful to ourselves but I'm hopeful that some of them will look at other factors and come to play for Ghana now last month Akuno confirmed Ghana have already started contact with Nketia and his family for discussions in joining the Ghana Football Association Damba uh, has added his voice to that he and Ketia will bring a lot to the Black Stars but it's not let's be mindful of certain things these players are very young players and they look forward to progressing from one stage to the next it is one thing playing for the national team at this time and another thing how the player wants to see himself in three four or five years time they also have plans that they need to follow and these are very important if i were to advise him uh, that's damba advising in ketia i will tell him in ketia come and play for ghana because we need to have our national football our football back and remain competitive and be able to do that we need these players who have tasted football outside the country they have had the best of training and have worked with the best coaches and understand football inside out and they will add a lot to our football which will give us results yes damba speaking extensively there and with go.com as i have always been trumpeting here on the channel first and foremost uh, they are human beings and human beings have needs wants uh, desires um, we shouldn't always think about ourselves getting a better team or a great team so we need this player that player what will it benefit that player in the end how will it benefit them how will their development go in the next uh, few years what's the plan what's the structure in place for the Ghana football to progress in a way that will benefit them and the way they see their future in the coming years. It's not just about saying you are Ghanaian, come and play for Ghana. Even their development has been the best outside the country and you want them to betray the people that that actually developed them, you would have to put in a convincing argument if I were the one you were trying to convince. And it's normal. Everyone has needs. Everyone has wants. And it's not going to be easy to convince players like Eddie Nketiah and Tariq Lamdi to play for the Ghana Black Stars. It's not going to be easy. And I have to say, uh, there's a lot of work to be done. As Ibrahim Tanku has said, 
cash them here. Put scouts in place in the foreign countries and let them know their job. Also, Abubakari Damba has added his voice to it. He says, look at what the player also wants. Let them be interested. Give them something because as we all know, we have to give something in order to get something as well. So that has been it for today. Looking at the way we can attract players who are grown outside the country and develop their football outside the country to convince them to play for their national teams of birth or their parents uh, team countries of birth. It's not going to be easy but as Tanko has said catch them young. Damba also said listen to their interests. What do they want? Where do they see themselves? Uh, provide them that better treatment and you will have a lot of things uh, going your way. A lot of them coming back to play for the country. But let me know what you think in the comments box on all this said by these two amazing legends they're giving extremely sound advice which i tend to resonate amazingly with your thoughts in the comments box i'll see you guys in the next one enjoy your day